Hello everyone, this is Mario. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to ride the 4th, 5th and 6th stages of the Tour de Romandie. Um, we are starting with the 4th stage. Uh, it's a hilly stage with a punchy finish. So the favorites are Michael Woods, David Godou and Geraint Thomas. Also uh, Primoz Roglic. In the top 10 favorites we have Ilnur Zakarin, one of our leaders for this race. In the GC is currently placed in 11th, um, 19 seconds behind the leader Andre Amador, and our best placed rider in the GC so far is Simon Spilak, two seconds behind uh, Amador in the second position. So here we are with another sunny day to start the fourth stage of Tour de Romandie. Um, we have uh, two, a second category climb uh, just a few kilometers um, uh, after the start of the stage, like 11 kilometers after the start of the stage. And once again, we are not putting any of our riders in the breakaway. We are focusing exclusively on taking Zakarin and Spilak to the finish line together with the main riders. And if possible, try and attack in those final climbs to try and win the stage. So a few men have attacked to um, form a breakaway group. There are two in the lead now, Stork and Alexis Goujard. Um, and further back, we have Victor Campanart, Merawi Kudush, uh, Mikhail Albacini, Schelling, Nicolas Roche, Petili and Talman. Let's see, uh, Nicolas Roche will be particularly interested in being the first at the top of this climb. He is currently second in the um, uh, mountain classification, just one point uh, behind Maurice. I'm surprised that Maurice is not going uh, in the breakaway for the KOM points. And let's see if Roche can get any points. And he, he got one point. He got one point, is now tied with Maurice. Let's see what happens in the next few um, climbs. So the breakaway is now in the second climb of the day. I'm not even daring to pronounce uh, the name of this climb. It's a 2.6 kilometer long uh, climb at 5.7% um, average. And attacks are starting now with Shelling, the first one to launch the attack, is being followed by everyone. Let's see if what Nicolas Roche does here. He's the most interested rider in, in the points. And actually the line is in the downhill and Roche did not get any point. So uh, in the meanwhile, Alexis Goujard is already on 20 points. So he's starting to threaten the mountain classification. We are now going through the finish line for the first time in the race. There's a very steep climb just uh, before the finish line. It's very, very short, but it might play a role um, in deciding the winner of the stage. So we are now halfway through this stage. The breakaway group still has two minutes lead over the peloton. Um, it's a nine-man group, so I don't know, maybe they can surprise and take the stage. So the riders in the breakaway are starting the ascension to Vaudrey. Vaudrey? I don't know. Uh, it's a short climb, uh, again with the points in the downhill section after the climb. It's kind of weird. Alvacini is going to take the lead here. He's going to take top points and Alexis Goujard is second. And he's now only two points behind uh, Maurice and Nicolas Roche. So about 20 kilometers to go now. The lead of the breakaway has actually increased in the last few kilometers. It's now over three minutes. Um, maybe the peloton quit on trying to win the stage and it's going to um, the breakaway. But I said the same thing about the third stage and eventually the peloton managed to catch the breakaway in the final kilometer to win the stage. I should try to attack now. Let's try and attack with Ilnur Zakarin. Let's see what we can do. Let's put Spilak on 99. Zakarin is going. Yes, he's going alone. 
Let's put this up to 90. No one is following, following that hard. I'm not using the energy gel yet. Okay, so people are catching up. Let's bring this back down. I don't want to waste too much energy with Zakarin. So the riders here are Godou, Spilak, Zakarin. Uh, we have Michael Woods, Emmanuel Bookman, Gianluca Brambilla, Primoz Roglic, and the leader of the GC, uh, Andre Amador. I don't know if I mentioned Garin Thomas, but he's here as well. Um, a second group led by Rui Costa is coming up with Heikenbach and Tanel Kangart as well. So I'm putting now Zakarin behind Spilak and try to pace a bit near the, the close to the finish of this climb. Try to put some pressure on the other riders. We are getting close to the finish. Let's try and attack now with Spilak. Mm, this is too late. Yeah, this is too late. We are not leaving anyone behind. Uh, but let's still try and do this. Let's maintain Spilak here now. And try the attack now with um, Zakarin. Thomas is already attacking as well. The winner of the stage was Victor Kempenart. I was not paying attention to that. That's quite a surprising win, actually. Oh, and I dropped Spilak. And in the group, in the, the main group, the first one to cross the line is going to be Garin Thomas and then Andre Amador. Zakarin finishes with them. Spilak is going to lose time, is going to drop some positions in the GC. Um, I mean, I tried everything for Zakarin. Um, I know it's going to be hard for Spilak to win the race, especially because of tomorrow's um, fifth stage. So, yeah, I don't regret um, doing this with Spilak. So this time the breakaway did manage to win the stage. It was Victor Campanarts winning it, although not with a big lead over the main riders. They were just behind. Victor Campanard winning the fourth stage of Tour de Romandie. It's not the terrain where he fits best, but he still managed to win uh, from the breakaway. In the GC, Andre Amador keeps the lead, um, now eight seconds ahead of Geraint Thomas. Alexis Gujar leads the overall mountain classification. Also, Spilak lost uh, the green jersey, the, point, uh, the points classification to Geraint Thomas. Um, he now leads by two points over Amador and three over Spilak. And the best young rider is now David Godou. He is two minutes and four seconds ahead of Daniel Martinez. So this was a surprising win for Victor Campanards. We are used to see him winning time trials, uh, not hilly, punchy stages. But he was in the right uh, breakaway at the right time. And um, they managed to, so this seven man group managed to reach the finish line uh, 58 seconds ahead of the main riders. And with that, Campanards uh, won the stage. In the meanwhile, uh, Ilnur Zakarin um, went from 11th in the, um, the GC to 4th. He is now the 4th best rider in the GC. Um, only 19 seconds behind Amador, but 11 behind Garin Thomas. And we now head up to the fifth stage of Tour de Romandie, the queen stage of this race. And this is the big one. This one is going to play a massive role in uh, deciding the GC uh, winner of the 2019 Tour de Romandie. Of course, the favorites are Primoz Roglic and uh, Geraint Thomas. They are both the favorites to win the stage and to win the GC at the end of the race, our man Ilnur Zakarin is going to try and stay with the top riders here. I think it's going to be very hard to win this, um, but 
if we can keep with Roglic and Thomas for a long period of time, we may have a chance of at least getting the third place in the final GC. Here it is, the fifth stage, the Queen stage of Tour de Romandie, just about just starting now. We are going to keep our men in the, in the main group. Fortunately, Zakarin is having a plus one day, so it's not bad. Spilak as well. And I think the main goal today is to use everyone we can to help and protect Zakarin. Initially, I will protect both Zakarin and Spilak. And in the end, uh, I'm sure that Spilak is going to be of great importance to help Zakarin in the final climbs. We are now two kilometers away from the, the KOM point. No one has attacked yet. Nicolas Roche is going to be the first. No, he's still holding his position. The first one to attack is James Knox. He has a bit of an advantage now. Shelling is going behind. Armé, Nicolas Roche, Nico Dent protecting the lead of Alexis Goujard. Let's see. And Roche is now leading the classification. He has the same number of points as Alexis Goujard. And if he doesn't get any more points to the end, he's probably going to win this because Goujard is not in this group. He is in the peloton. So it's highly unlikely that he will get any any more points during this stage. I believe that Nicolas Roche is going to win, win the mountain classification at the end of the race if it doesn't fall and abandon the race. So the breakaway riders are now starting the climb to this first category one climb. Um, they still have five minutes and 30 seconds over the peloton. So they are definitely going over this climb ahead of the main group. So the peloton is now five kilometers uh, away from the top of Col de Mos. The lead of the breakaway group is now down to four and a half minutes. There are still 10 men in the front group. Uh, most of them are there. They are now attacking uh, the final, well, not the final, the penultimate um, KOM point in this stage and also in, in the race. We have Armé leading this group. Nicolas Roche is still going there. I don't know if Armé winning this will do anything to the final classification. And Nicolas Roche with 43 points, four ahead of Armé, Sander Armé. So we are reaching the bottom of this descent. Team Sky and Team Jumbo Visma are leading the, the main group. Of course, they are riding for their leaders, Garen Thomas and uh, Primoz Roglic. So the peloton is now starting the ascension uh, to the finish line. Let's see what we can do. We are eight kilometers away from the finish. It's still too soon to, to launch an attack with Zakarin. Koshetkov's work is about to finish and he will be soon replaced by Spilak. We have attacks by... Oh, Roglic. We have an attack by Roglic. We have to put Spilak protecting Zakarin. Koshetkov is done for the day. We have to try and follow... Well, we are not following the attack. We are going on our own pace. Education First is looking very strong. They have five riders in the front. Michael Woods is trying the attack now. Let's do the same again, putting Zakarin in 90 effort. We are still 2.7 kilometers away. Are we going to catch the breakaway? Let's keep, yeah, Simon Spilak is done for the day. Let's try and follow now. No, we can't. Yes, we can. Follow Roglic. He's going alone. He's going alone. We have to try and go in our own pace. One kilometer to go. Roglic is going to win the stage. Primus Roglic is going to win the stage. Let's see if we can get Zakarin in second. Here. Let's go. Let's go. We're in the front group. Come on. 
Come on, Roglic takes the victory. Yes, he wins the stage and Zakarin is second. Geraint Thomas is far behind. Geraint Thomas and also Andre Amador is nowhere to be seen. Here he is, losing a lot of time. So Zakarin, I think, is going to be second in the GC after this stage. Simon Spilak, he did a wonderful job protecting Ilnur Zakarin towards the end. And he's still going to finish in 22nd. So... Very nice performance by both Zakarin and Spilak. I'm very happy with the second place in the stage. And once again, the breakaway was caught just before the finish line, and Primoz Roglic takes the stage with Zakarin second. So Roglic winning the stage, and the GC leader is now Primoz Roglic, 13 seconds ahead of Zakarin. As I said during the stage, Nicolas Roche takes the mountain classification, Garen Thomas leading the overall points classification, only three points ahead of Primoz Roglic, and the best young rider is once again Daniel Martinez. He took the, the, his lead back from David Godou. So a very entertaining stage. Uh, the final climb was, as expected, very interesting. Uh, several attacks by mainly riders from um, Education First. First, Daniel Martinez, and he was followed by Primoz Roglic. Then Michael Wood tried an attack as well. Um, in the end, it was Primoz Roglic winning the stage, and Ilnur Zakarin, our rider, managed to be the only one not losing any time uh, in the stage itself. As we can see in the GC, Roglic leads Zakarin by 13 seconds. And one minute and three seconds behind in third is now uh, Garen Thomas. Andre Amador lost his lead, is now fourth, one minute and 35 behind. And we now go to the final stage of Tour de Romandie, a 15.7 kilometer flat individual time trial. The favorites are for the stage are Garen Thomas, Victor Campanarts, and Primoz Roglic. So the first rider from our team going to this uh, individual time trial is Alex Dowsett. Um, he is the worst rider in the general classification for our team. Very weird stuff going on uh, in this stage. So we are now approaching the finish line with Dowsett. Let's see how he does in the final kilometer. Let's up his effort a bit because of the downhill section, and he finishes in second, 27 seconds behind Massier Bodnar. We are now approaching the intermediate checkpoint with Wurt Schmidt, and he is 30 seconds behind the best time in that intermediate uh, checkpoint. The best time so far is from Victor Campenart and followed by Jos van Emden. They also have the best time in the finish line. Let's see, Wurt Schmidt is now approaching the finish line. He lost his energy now, he's dropping the pace a bit. And eighth best time, 51 seconds behind um, Victor Campanarts. So Simon Spilak is the next rider to start, to start his race. Uh, several other important riders have now already started. So we have Patrick Bevin, who is a strong contender for today's stage. Uh, in the meantime, Campanart still leads the, um, the race, the stage. He has the best time. Patrick Bevin is only three seconds behind in the intermediate checkpoint. Zakarin is also about to start. And let's see what he does. He doesn't have to be too aggressive because winning the race is going to be extremely, extremely hard. Spilak is now going to start the descent towards the finish. I may have over-exaggerated. Well, over-exaggerated, is that a word? I don't know. Let's see how he does in the end. 45 seconds behind, so 23rd best time. Let's go back to Zakarin. Let's see Zakarin. Oh, this might have been too much. Let's drop the effort a bit before the descent. 
76, 75 is descending now. Let's see. Come on, Zakarin. Let's go, let's go. Push it. And 24 seconds down. Let's see what Roglic does. Two seconds down on Campanarts. Campanarts winning the stage. One second ahead of Bevin and two ahead of Roglic. Zakarin was out of the top 10. Garen Thomas was only 10th in the stage. 21 seconds behind Campanart, so Zakarin will be second in the overall classification. There it is. Roglic winning uh, the Tour de Romandie once again after his win in 2018. He wins it in 2019 ahead of Ilnur Zakarin by 35 seconds. The winner of the mountain classification was Nicolas Roche, that was settled before this individual time trial. Primoz Roglic taking the overall points classification in the final stage. Geraint Thomas was the previous leader, but Roglic, with his second, no, his third place in the stage, got this jersey as well. The winner of the Young Rider classification was Daniel Martinez. He only lost that lead to David Godou for one stage. So that's it. Victor Campanard winning the final stage, the individual time trial. Um, is, it was his second win, his second stage win of this year's Tour de Romandie. Second place in the final GC. It's a very, very good result. I was aiming, realistically aiming at a top three finish. I thought Thomas would get uh, one of the top two positions, but he failed in the queen stage of the race, while Zakarin didn't. And I must also be very happy with the seventh place finish for Simon Spilak. Very strong performance by Team Katusha. So with the second place for Zakarin, I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, Tour de Romandie. If you have, please like the video, please comment below, um, tell me what I should improve in my videos and in the way I race. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Show me your support, uh, encourage me to keep doing this if you think I'm, I'm doing good. And I hope to see you soon for another video of Pro Cycling Manager. Bye.